Hi everybody, this is John Lortz from DiscoverSkills.com and today I'd like to talk a little bit about plugging in a flash drive. Now just to refresh your memory a little bit, flash drives are what I sometimes refer to as modern day floppy disks. And what I mean by that is they are the modern way that we take files and folders with us away from the computer. So they're sometimes referred to as removable storage. Now, flash drives are very, very commonplace now. Um, you see them everywhere. You see them in the checkout stands at Walgreens. You see them in the computer stores. I mean, you see them all over the place. So they're very, very easy to find and to get. They are commonly used for file folder transport, as I just mentioned, but also they're a great place to back things up to because, again, they are removable storage. Now, what I specifically wanted to talk about today was what you see when you plug in a flash drive. Uh, sometimes this can be confusing to people, the little window that pops up and, and asks you questions on what you want to do. And So I thought it might be a good idea just to take a quick minute today and, and kind of walk through that with you. Now I'm back out here on the computer desktop and uh, what I wanted to show you, and I'm, I'm using Windows 7 today, but the same types of things are going to happen with Windows XP, Windows Vista, and of course Windows 8 as well. But out here in Windows 7, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in a flash drive into one of my USB ports. So let me go ahead and do that. Now there was a little tiny kind of a beep sound that you heard that Windows made. And after you plug your flash drive in, after a few seconds, you're going to see a window pop up that's called the Auto Play window. And you can see that here on my Windows 7 desktop screen. Now, notice here on this little window, um, it's uh, it's got a long list. In fact, I can scroll up and down here on my computer and show you there's a long list of different programs that are listed. And basically what the autoplay window is saying is, okay, you've plugged in a USB drive, a flash drive. And on that flash drive, there are certain types of files. These are the programs on your computer that are available for you to use to access that flash drive and then to work with those files. So what's going to happen is, depending upon what files you have on the flash drive, you're going to see different options appear in this window. Now, in my particular case, I've got a flash drive that has a lot of different kinds of files on it, um, many of them being picture files. In fact, you can see here that some of these options that come up have to do with working with pictures. Here is my Photoshop Elements, organize and edit photos here. Here are some options for creating uh, CDs. Um, and so on and so forth. Here's a camera import option. Um, quite a few different options here that deal with pictures. Okay, But again, it's going to depend upon what files you have on the flash drive. Now, in a lot of the classes that I teach and in a lot of my own personal use, what I'll do on this menu is I will scroll until I see this option that's called Open Folder to View Files using Windows Explorer. Now, this particular option is probably the most generic of all the different options you have here because all it's going to do is open up the folder window and directly show you what's on the flash drive. So let me go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and go click. And the window pops up. There it is right there. And again, I'm using Windows 7 just to, to remind you. But as we look at this folder window here, I'm going to go over to the left-hand side. And on the left side of the folder window in Windows 7 and in Windows 8 uh, is, what we have, uh, is what we call the navigation tree. And as I look up and down here, I'm basically able to look and navigate through the different folders on my computer and uh, I can navigate to those folders and then I can work with the files inside those folders. Now that's uh, way beyond what we want to talk about today. I've got all kinds of other videos and books uh, that deal with this, especially I've got a book called uh, Working with Files and Folders that I just came out with not too long ago that tells you all about this kind of stuff. But today what I want to do is show you where is a flash drive going to show up. 
Now, in Windows 7 and in Windows 8, we normally hang around in this part of the navigation tree. This is our library area. And for those of you who use Windows 7 and Windows 8, you know that the library area is basically where we can find all of our My folders. My documents, my music, my pictures, my videos. They're found as part of libraries. In this case here, you can see here's the documents library. And if I click the little twirl arrow, there's my documents. So this is normally where we hang out. And if you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista, you have the same kind of thing. You don't have libraries, but you do have your My Documents, My Pictures, and so on folders here. Well, the flash drive shows up down farther. And if we scroll down farther, we run into the computer icon. And in older versions of Windows, that'll be called My Computer. It shows up here because your flash drive is a physical piece of equipment and the computer area in the navigation tree shows you all of your physical drives. So for example, as I see a computer here, I can also see that we've got local disk, the C drive, which is my main hard drive. I have another hard drive on my computer here at home, which I'm using. And if we go down a little bit farther, here we go. It says USB disk. Here is the flash drive. In fact, you can see it's already highlighted. And what I'm looking at over here is its contents. So back to when I was on the autoplay window and I clicked uh, uh, show, the, show the folder or show the USB flash uh, disk in a folder window. This is what comes up. It automatically takes me to the disk and then takes me to those folders. Once I'm here, I can start working with whatever files are on the USB drive, copy them, move them, all those different kinds of things. Again, things we talk about in other videos. So that's pretty much it. And that's what I wanted to talk about today is what do you see when you plug in a flash drive? I want to talk about the autoplay window and then having uh, talking about having it take you to your folder window where it takes you down underneath my computer and this is where your flash drive folder and files will be located. Okay? That's going to be it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you'd like to see some more videos or if you'd like to uh, uh, look at some of the other articles that I've written about all kinds of different computer and technology topics, you are welcome to visit www.discoverskills.com. I would also love to have you drop me a note if you have any questions or comments. My email address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. And of course, you can always visit my YouTube channel, and the address for that is www.youtube.com forward slash discover skills. And if you visit YouTube and if you like the videos that you're looking at, uh, always love it if you give us a thumbs up and, and click that like button on YouTube. So again, my name is John Lortz from discoverskills.com, and I will see you in the next video.